Hello friends, this is our sixth video lecture and it will be about recognition and measurement rules. Recognition rules of the assets and liabilities. Assets should be recognized if it is prob probable that future economic benefits will flow to the entity. The asset can be measured reliably. Liability is recognized if it is probable that the settlement of a present obligation will result in an outflow of economic benefits and outflow of resources can be measured reliably. Recognition rules of income and expenses. Income is recognized if there is an increase in an asset or a decrease in a liability and such change can be measured reliably. Sorry. Expense is recognized if there is a decrease in an asset or an increase in liability and such change can be measured reliably. Measurement rules. Measurement is a process by which monetary values of the various financial statements elements are determined. The framework identifies four measurement bases. Historical cost, current cost, realizable value, and present value. Historical cost model. Under historical cost model, current amount of an asset is the amount of cash paid to acquire it. Advantages over other approaches. First of all, historical cost model is easy to calculate and comprehend. Secondly, it is relatively objective and free from bias. The third one is it, the historical cost model facilitates easy forecasting of future carrying amounts. And the last one, it is easy to, ver to verify using primary documents. For example, we always check the amount of certain asset through just through looking just looking through invoices for example the main disadvantage of this approach is that historical cost model doesn't reflect the current value of assets or liabilities current cost model current cost is the amount of cash to replace the item today. Application of this approach requires following adjustment. Inventory and non-current assets should be valued at current cost. Monetary items require no adjustments. So, what are monetary items and what are non-monetary items. Monetary items are amounts which are fixed by a contract in the form of certain amount of cash. For example, they are receivables, payables and of course cash is also a monetary item. Non-monetary items. Such items include non-current assets as well as inventory. So, what are advantages and disadvantages of current cost model? Key advantage of current cost model is the provision of more relevant information to the users of financial statements. The information is more relevant because it reflects the current state and performance of the company. 
disadvantages of current cost model. It is more subjective and hence less reliable than historical cost approach. It is more difficult to apply this approach because it's quite difficult to identify relevant current costs for all inventory and non-current assets items. The third one, it is least familiar to users of financial information. The fourth, monetary items are still carried at their historical cost. And the last one, it is difficult to obtain appropriate current cost for all non-monetary items, which is also the consequence probably of the third one. Of the second one, it is more difficult to apply this approach. So, realizable value and present value. Net realizable value is the amount of cash that could be received if the asset was sold today in an orderly transaction. The orderly means that it is a non-forced transaction present value, discounted value of all future benefits that are expected to be generated by the asset in the normal course of business. Concepts of capital. Financial concept of capital states that capital is the net assets of the entity or its equity. According to this concept, profit is earned if the net assets at the end of the accounting period exceeds the net assets at the beginning of the accounting period. Physical concept of capital states that capital means productive capacity of the firm, hence the profit is earned if productive capacity at the end exceeds the productive capacity at the beginning. So, that is the end of our lecture number 6. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!